With the 2025 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro right around the corner, there's a lot of talks about where this truck is going to be built or how much it costs and a lot of different things. But basically we do know it's going to be expensive based off the price of the Tacoma TRD Pro starting at $63,900. But real quick, before we get too deep in the video, I did not get a 2025 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro, but I did get a 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium, and the price might be a little shocking to you. Let's get into it. So personally, my experience with this 4Runner was amazing. I actually liked it more than I thought I would. I wasn't the biggest fan of 4Runners. I just started realizing just how popular this vehicle really is. But basically, the one that I have here has a starting MSRP of $46,580. And the color of this one is actually Ice Cap, which is an interesting name. I kind of like it. I mean, it's white, but they call it Ice Cap. It has 17 inch, seven spoke alloy wheels with black accents. And if you come around front, it has LED headlights and LED fog lights. And this one has the basic chrome emblems. And as you can see, it has the skid plate underneath and two tow hooks underneath as well, one on the right and one on the left. It also has a 9.6 inch ground clearance. Look, uh, yeah, right here. And unlike the new 2025 Forerunner coming out soon, the fifth generation also has the four liter V6 engine with part-time four wheel drive. And if you come around to the side here, this TRD off-road premium also comes standard with the heated side mirrors that do also have the integrated turn signals and blind spot indicators. Now, this one I have here also has the Predator tube step rails, which are an additional add-on of $665. But up here, it does come standard with the black roof rails. And on the side here, it has the TRD off-road hard badges on the side. Back here, you have the LED tail lights as well as the chrome forerunner badging on the back tailgate. And this trim in particular also has the front and rear mud guards as well. But this forerunner in particular does have two additional add-ons that do add up to $939 on top of the add-on that we talked about earlier in the video, which gives us a total of $1,604 in add-ons for this forerunner in particular. So that brings the total up to $48,184, but you do have to add sales tax. And in my area, that's about 7% which is $3,372.88 in sales tax. Now bringing the total to $51,556.88. And of course you cannot drive off the lot without car insurance. So if we add the $123.16 in insurance for the Toyota 4Runner, then that means you would need to pay $51,680.04 in order to buy the 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium outright. But let's take a look inside at the features and other add-ons that that includes. First off, you have the red stitching on the interior. And as one of the add-ons, you have these all-weather floor liners that is an additional $309. It also has power adjustable seats and push to start. You've also got your usual steering wheel buttons as well and some basic setting buttons over here on the left. But this 4Runner Off-Road Premium also has the heated steering wheel feature, which I was a bit surprised about, and it has an eight inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And alongside the touchscreen, it does also have a pretty decent amount of tactile buttons around that as to the features for the screen as well. You also have a digital clock up here at the top, which Come on, Toyota. But under the screen, you have more tactile buttons that you can control the climate control with. And then under that, there is a USB a port in a 12 volt outlet as well. You've got a couple little storage compartments down here in a cup holder, this leather TRD shift knob in your four wheel drive shifter. Then back here, you have another cup holder that actually has the piece that come out. So you have more space for larger cups. And right here next to that, you also have your dials for the front heated seats and the button for the back tailgate window. 
And of course the center console, which I would say has a lot of space in here compared to some of the other vehicles I've looked at recently. Now the other add-on that we have left on this particular Forerunner is the power moon roof, which is an additional $630. It has the tilt and slide feature with the sunshade, but this Forerunner also has the TRD stitching on the headrest and black leather interior. Again, with that red stitching on the seats too. Coming around to the back of the Forerunner, it has a ton of space back here and on the side here you have power outlets it also has a few tie down hooks as well and i must say you see me laying back here so obviously there's a ton of space back here and really it's made for this type of stuff like if you're traveling or carrying a lot of stuff the forerunner can handle it but if we come around to the back seat which it has a lot of space. I give it a plus on that. It could fit three people back here very comfortably, but there's also two USB type C outlets and this Forerunner also has front seat back pockets on both sides. Of course, the all weather floor mats. You also have your two cup holders you can fold down in the middle that also have the pieces that come out for larger cups, which I think is pretty neat. And like I mentioned, these seats do fold down, but let me kind of go more in depth with that. So this latch right here in the middle of the seat, if you pull that out and you drop the headrest by pulling this little lever off to the side and then basically pressing the button off to the right or left, depending on which side of the back seat you're in, it'll drop down into that other seat almost connecting like a puzzle piece, locking in and folding down perfectly to where the back is laid out with so much space back there. And it's such a cool feature, something I would definitely utilize if I had my own personal Forerunner. And it's so much space back there after you put down the seats that, you know, sometimes you just wanna stretch out and lay down. You know, the new trend going on where everybody's living in their car. Well, the Toyota 4Runner would be the perfect car to live in. I mean, I would add pillows and a blanket and stuff of that nature, but outside of that, a ton of space. So with the MSRP add-ons and accessories and the sales tax, the total is $51,556.88. Now say you wanted to finance this 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium, and you wanted to finance it for 72 months with the 8% APR with $0 down. Your monthly payment would be $903.96. Now let's add the car insurance payment of $123.16, bringing your overall monthly payment to $1,027.12 in order to finance the 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road Premium. So after making this video and crunching these numbers and breaking it down, I would ask myself, is the 2025 lineup worth it? Let's talk about the one everybody wants, the 2025 TRD Pro. Is it worth the price? I would say absolutely. It depends on who you are, what you use it for, if you can afford it, if it's actually something that will bring benefit to your life. If you feel like it will do that for you, then I would say it is worth it. But if you're somebody that can't afford it and you just want it because of the hype, then I would say probably stay away from it and avoid it as much as you can because you should be able to use this video to kind of base if you can afford it or not. If you can't afford the 2023 TRD Off-Road Premium, then it's probably a sure thing you can't afford the 2025 TRD Pro. So just be realistic with yourself, work your way up to it. Don't buy something that you're money trap in. And if you're feeling a little bit still on edge, I have another video, which I'll link up here, where I talk about how a vehicle can be the number one wealth killer. But with that being said, I'll see y'all on the next one.